I mean, really, like, I cannot believe it, honestly. I think that, you know, the people that are watching you now or checking me out on Twitter or whatever, they don't really have the history or understanding of who Alex was. Maybe some people, because I have a lot of liberal supporters coming forward, I am really just not that political of a person, but I consider myself to be just, you know, I care about the Constitution and due process and things like that. But there was a time when liberals were really listening to Alex because he was never a partisan person. So all of a sudden, Alex's star starts rising when Roger Stone comes on the scene. And all of a sudden, Alex Jones is an actual I mean, there's no way to look at him other than a propagandist because everything that he said he was against, you know, overreaching police actions, um, your papers, please, all of these things. He's absolutely gone against his core beliefs and, and express values, which I actually believe he believed. Um, I mean, he'd stop at the border, you know, on the way in with a family vacation and make us endure him harassing border police. Uh, but now it's all great for um, for Donald Trump. And it's highly concerning. I actually did. I went to this site called Simrush where you can look at the analytics of his rise and how it's proportionate to Trump's rise, but also the funding that went into Google to make these uh, to to perpetuate or boost his viewership. And um, there was there's a, there's an article on my site, custodywars.com, asking about, you know, what exactly is, um, you know, YouTube or Google stance on Alex? Because. Apparently, according to an ex-Google engineer, there was a guy who came forward and said that he wrote an algorithm that recommended Alex billions of times. Yeah. So I believe right now that YouTube has real cause and should act upon uh, what Alex said, if it's true, that he was pending one strike to have his YouTube channel taken down. I mean, I'm not uh, mincing words here. I don't think he should have a YouTube channel. He's currently defaming me on it and but worse he's putting my minor son on it right um but in fact alex is profiting greatly off of google and so it's all just very questionable and it actually circles back also to this question that's come up with sinclair broadcasting alex was first kind of picked up out of nowhere i mean he was on little mom and pops that maybe he paid for maybe he didn't or he'd go on and off on shortwave radio you know on a paid uh shortwave time to a syndication out of KLBJAM by Bob Sinclair, who actually came down. Um, and so I find that really suspect. Um, and I think the most suspect thing that people can really look at when they're looking at this and they're looking at, wow, maybe our media is just totally not independent, which is really what I'm beginning to feel, and even social media, like these huge concerns that we have, right? This guy, Alex Jones, he was anti he was not only nonpartisan, he was anti-partisan. He would say, these are two sides of the same coin. It's a dog and pony show. Well, he's picked his coin. He's holding it up like a badge of honor. He shined it on his shirt, and he's holding it up, and his name is Donald Trump, and it makes zero sense and for Kelly, anybody who knows him. Do you, do 